When the Kohanim would prepare for their service in the sanctuary, they were instructed to wash their hands and feet in the wash basin, the kior. Since then, we have a halacha today that says that, that when we rise in the morning and we get ready for prayer, we should wash our hands and our feet like the Kohanim. But there's an extra detail that halacha brings. We are also instructed to wash our faces in preparation for davening. Now that's interesting because that detail didn't feature with the Kohanim. They didn't need to wash their faces. But yet halacha today says that we wash our face in preparation for prayer. Why the difference? Well, hands and feet represent action. The face, the head, represents the deeper, more spiritual faculties of the person. The brain, the ears to listen, the eyes to see, the mouth to speak, the nose to smell. That's all included in the head, in the face. With the Kohanim, their heads were focused, their brains were focused. They knew what their purpose is in the, in the world. The only thing they needed to purify and to cleanse were their hands. Because their hands sometimes touched things that were inappropriate or impure. And they needed to purify their hands. But for us, it's more than just our hands. Our head sometimes thinks things that are inappropriate. We sometimes speak things that are inappropriate. So when we get ready for prayer, we have to wash our faces. Wash our faces and make sure that we are focused once again. That we are real aligned and synchronized with God. So that we think godly, we smell godly, we listen godly, we hear godly. And that way we can prepare ourselves appropriately for prayer. Shabbat Shalom.